In today's video, I'll be testing the Fansiong S501 512GB M.2 NVMe SSD. This is connected to a uh, PCI Express X4 M.2 NVMe adapter. I'll show you the adapter and how it looks like. I made videos on it before. It looks something like something like this. I'll leave uh, the link for the video that I made about it in the video descriptions below. It will also be on the video cards in the top right corner and at the end of the video as well. So. Um, this is what I have it hooked up to because uh, the monitor, uh, the motherboard that I'm using is an ASUS Z97 Pro. So this does have a M.2 NVMe slot, but however, I'm using it for another M.2 NVMe. So the way I have it connected is to this uh, PCIe X4. I'm using a PCIe X16 port. On my computer which is right next to the graphics card on the motherboard so that's how it's hooked up and this is an older generation computer this is a the CPU that's in it is a fourth generation i7 4790k and like I said the motherboard is ASUS Z97 Pro so this is a pretty old machine um, but I want to use an M.2 NVMe in it. And as you can see, I have it uh, the Fansiong S501 512 gigabyte storage device installed on my machine. And uh, I will use Crystal Mark to show that as well. Here it is, the Fansiong S501 512 gigabyte, 512.1 gigabyte. M.2 NVMe. This one has a heatsink fan on it, so it's running pretty cool at 32 degrees Celsius, which is a pretty low temperature. And uh, I will be testing it out with Crystal Mark. So this is the iDrive. Let's see what the read speed is. I'll be testing it three times and getting an average of it. Okay, I'll test it again. Test it three times and get an average. See what the speed is. So it claims that it could do 2.15 megabytes per second. That's 2.15 gigabytes per second, or 17.2 gigabits per second. For the right, it's 1600 megabytes per second, or 1.6 gigabytes per second. Or 12.8 gigabits per second. Okay. We'll test it again. Next test.
Okay, so that's uh, that's what I got. That's the scores that I got. Okay, so this is what I got. For the average read, I got 1,933.23 megabytes per second, or 1.933 gigabytes per second. For the write, I got 1,632.81 megabytes per second, or 1.63 gigabytes per second. So, here's the claim. It's pretty close for the read. For the write, it's it's close to that as well so it does live up the the claims do match the performance and I had installed stuff on the drive as well as you can see it's I have used up about 106 gigabytes of storage in here and that's what I want to show you today so uh, also, I want to show you something else. I want to show you my uh, other M.2 NVMe drive, which is on C drive. This is a Western Digital, I think it's a SN 550, 500 gigabyte M.2 NVMe SSD. So this is a Western Digital one, and we'll be testing this out as well. We'll see what the score of this is. I'll just test it once. Here it is. This is connected to the M.2 NVMe slot on my Asus Z97 Pro motherboard. I was able to use M.2 NVMe after I updated the BIOS. If you want to know how to do that, I'll leave this in the vid video descriptions below as well. So you see that is considerably slower than connecting it to a PCIe Express port. So the PCIe Express port that I have it connected to is a PCIe 3.0 X16 port, which is right under the graphics card. So the graphics card port is also capable of PCIe 3.0 by 16 as well. So this is this is for my um, C drive is has my Western Digital Western Digital SN 550 M.2 and NVMe 500 gigabyte SSD and the other one this fancy young one is connected to a M.2 NVMe via M.2 NVMe PCIe X X4 adapter. So that's what I want to share with you today. If you would like to know where you can get yours, then I'll leave it in the video descriptions below. And thank you for watching.